morning guys welcome to today's vlog starting off the vlog gonna head down to the post office and get out some sales that I've made <music> Okay guys, so first thrift store stop for today is gonna be the good old Savers. You guys can see it over there. Haven't been in this one for a while. Like most of the thrifts I'll be going to today. Some of them are closed because of the holidays and stuff. But um, let's head on into Savers and see if we can find some cool stuff. Let's go. So guys, we're just in the sneaker section. I think I'm gonna pop on these Converse Wades. I've sold a couple of these before. Nice shoes for 16. So unfortunately the battery is fried on this camera for some reason it just won't record sometimes But I think I've got to work it now anyway Went into the savers there and I didn't actually get those Converse shoes I left them there, they were too expensive for myself 16 bucks, I'd like to get them at around $10 Despite Anyway, I also did pop on a book in there which is going off to Amazon It's a really good book Statistical Methods Psychology And we paid 3 bucks for this one And it's selling on Amazon for about 161 US dollars Merchant fulfilled with a 170,000 rank Which is pretty damn good But uh, it's a pretty hot one, it's at 30 degrees today I don't know if I'm going to keep thrifting But um, we'll see, see if we can find some more stores that are open for the holidays So I ended up making it back home I didn't really do that much thrifting today, I just went to the Savers I uh, got that book. That book pretty much made the day worthwhile essentially. That book's going to sell for 130 US dollars in pure profit. So that's pretty good and plus I've done pretty well with sales today. I've done about 350 to 400 bucks in sales on eBay, just on eBay alone, which is pretty awesome. So um yeah, that concludes uh, thrifting for today. But I think what I might do is continue uh, answering some of the questions you guys have left down below in the comments. So uh, let's get those up. Let's grab my phone. Also guys, I have been sitting down here on the couch and uh, just looking at vans and just sending people messages, sellers messages. Been looking at a Ford Transit. Oh, damn it, I just realized this one's for wrecking and I inquired about it to see if it's working, which is kind of stupid of me because obviously it's not gonna work if it's for wrecking. But yeah, I'm looking at either the Ford Transit, the V-Dub Transporter or V-W van essentially or a Toyota High Ace or Town Ace. Those are the three vans that I'm looking at. But um, I'm super pumped for 2018 adventures and all the stuff that I have planned in future in regards to van life and, and all that kind of stuff. One of the questions that I just got recently was, what app... Hello? What's up? A pack rack on the hard rubbish. Where about? Well, that's awesome, guys. That just called me. He found like a pack rack or something. He thinks it's going to be worth like 400 bucks on the hard rubbish. So let's go uh, check that out and I'll get back to you guys with what I was talking about before. So we're in Dad's Jigger. Let's uh, go under the viaduct here and check out the hard rubbish and see what Dad spotted. I just like the thrill of the treasure hunt, to be honest, guys. So I just drove past where Dad said it was, but. I don't, I, I didn't see it, so maybe someone else picked it up, I don't know. So yeah, back to what I was saying before, what is the app that I use? The app that I use is Etoro, which is E-T-O-R-O. -R -O. I'll have a link down below if you want to check that out. It's like a social trading app as well, so you can talk to other traders on there and get to, you know, know like what to do and stuff like that. If you need some help, it's, it's a really cool app. Also, Justin Stott left a question, are you ever going to get back into thrifting? Well, I guess today I did thrift a little bit, but essentially, yes, I'm going to get back into thrifting, but I want to create and design a lifestyle around what I love doing the most. Don't get me wrong. I love to thrift. However, I prefer to travel, see new places. So what I want to do is essentially when I get a van, if it comes to that, is design, find out where I want to go, go to those places, and then the plus side of that will be hitting up thrift stores while I'm there as well. I don't want to just travel places just to hit the thrifts. I kind of just want to design a life that I want to have, if that makes sense. So, essentially, it's not about the money, it's more about happiness and about how I want to spend my life. And to be honest, I'm leaning more towards the adventurous side compared to just crushing it, trying to make dollars. Like, yes, it's cool to make money, but I want to create a life where I'm fulfilled and happy living out my purpose, if that makes sense. But yes, I still love thrifting, so um, I will be doing that along the way. But for the time being, I'm just working on other projects behind the scenes. So let's get back 
to this and uh, answer the question here we have from Holly Roberts. It's not really a question, it's more of a comment when I asked you guys about what sort of videos I should create. Um, but she did ask some questions that I can address here. Also mentioning making a video of how I edit my videos and what program I use. So the program I do use is called Final Cut Pro. But what I think I might do in the next couple of days is create a video about how I edit these vlogs. By no means are they, you know, complicated or like these complex videos. There are a lot of vloggers out there that do some really cool stuff. However, for myself, it's a pretty simple process, but I might walk you guys through it and just show you sort of behind the scenes of how these vlogs are created. So definitely keep an eye out for that style of video. Also, how quickly do you get stock listed? So before I got back from the trip from Tassie, I was pretty hardcore into thrifting then and around those times when I'm outsourcing all day, I'd probably get 10, maybe eight to 10 to 15 items per day. Quality items are worth a bit of profit, which is good. I would try and aim to get all of those items listed by the end of the night. So I'd take the photos, the measurements, and get it listed by that same day, that night. So then they're up. That was kind of my schedule and that works pretty well for me. So another question comes from SJ. Can you please do an updated international shipping video? about selling on eBay and all that kind of stuff. So I did make one of these videos in the past, I believe, but it seems like it is outdated. So I will um, add that to the, the video list of, of videos that I should create. So keep an eye out for that one as well. So this is really great, guys. I'm just reading through all these comments. So hey, freshman left a comment. If you ever got time to advice drop a new vlogger about 100 vlogs in, please leave me some feedback over at my channel. And I will, I'll check out your channel and everything, dude. But also it's raised like an idea for another video idea where I can um, create some tips for new vloggers because I've been doing this, I would say I'm not a professional or anything by no means whatsoever, but I have been doing this for a bit and I have some tips that I can give to people who are just beginning and just starting this, this vlogging journey. So I think I might do another video like that. Also, Jason has also left another comment. Hey mate, I'm interested to hear what you see yourself doing in the future, your goals, ambitions. So this is a really cool question. And I think I could go on about this. This could be like a whole video idea, but let's see if I can shorten this down and just answer it as concise as possible. But essentially, to start off, um, I don't really like focusing too far on the future. And also I find it difficult for myself to actually portray my future and, and think how it's gonna work out because uh, I just don't know what's gonna happen. And I guess we don't know, right? But also like, I'm not a long-term thinker for some reason. It's just the way I'm wired, I guess. I, I focus on living one day at a time, just day by day. But I guess I also have a little bit of an instinct about like maybe a year from now, but I couldn't, I just can't plan five years. I can't justify thinking that far ahead. Also guys, I was just editing this video and I just had another thought. It's also, I think, important to think about like your life on the topic of regret, like thinking about yourself as you're 80 years old, sitting where you are, maybe in a nursing home or whatever, and just thinking about your life that you've had. Do you like have any regret about, you know, not doing what you wanted to do? For example, working a job instead of taking on life and just trying to live life to the fullest. <laughs> Sorry to sound cliche, but, but to be honest, when I think about it, those are probably the only thoughts that I've had of my future is just thinking about myself in the future and just thinking like, is what I'm doing today going to prevent the feeling of regret later on? Because honestly, I think that's the most painful thing to feel is when you're older and you have regret because that's something you can't change. That's something you have to live with and... You know what I mean? Like, so I just want to try and prevent that feeling if I get older. I just want to not have any regrets. I just want to make sure I lived life the way I wanted to. I guess maybe because I'm young and I guess like I don't have these big responsibilities that you, you get when you get older and stuff like that. But yeah, that's just how I'm wired. But to be honest, I want to focus more on happiness over anything else, to be honest. Like, I wanna make sure that the direction I go in life is is portrayed towards happiness and, and what I'm gonna enjoy doing, i.e. adventure, travel, exploring new places, doing fun things, having a blast, and just enjoying life. That's kind of what I wanna sort of do in the future. Sorry, it's not very specific, whether that's van life, more bicycle tours, but essentially I have no real desires to work the nine to five or anything like that. I kind of like the idea of being a nomadic, free spirited person, just living life for the moment in the moment and not being compromised to the work lifestyle or society, so to speak. I have nothing against it. It's just not for me. It doesn't, I've tried it and to be honest, I don't really like the idea of it. That's me personally. Obviously I'm gonna keep working on this YouTube channel. I'm working on another channel as well around cooking and things like that. So 
So, you know, my ideas with that is to turn that into a business eventually and, you know, sell cooking related products, obviously adding uh, value to people who view the videos and stuff like that and look after them, but then try and make a business out of that as well. And I have um, specific goals about, you know, like money goal that I want to achieve in 30 days from now. I don't know. I don't really like sharing my specific goals online. I prefer to just have them to myself and then just I'll see you guys when I accomplish that kind of thing. I guess you could say I have somewhat entrepreneurial tendencies. I'm working on a clothing brand which is what this hat is here actually. So this is one of the products that I'm selling and my goals for this is ultimately to make it a brand around my lifestyle and sell products around that. And I guess I have other ambitions as well that I'm working on. Um, so many things. Um, hopefully I answered your question, Justin, but that is what I'm aiming towards. But guys, that is it for the Q&A segment of this video. And I think the end of today's vlog, it is another hot one. It's going to be a hot one for the next few days. And tonight we have the aircon on, so I'm going to get back into the lounge room, soak up that cool air and uh, edit a video maybe, and then get to bed. But thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.